This is Pamela Riemenschneider for Blue Book Services. I have Greg Johnson, our Director of Media Development with me. And Greg, this week you reported on some uh, rain in California. What's going on? Yeah, it sounds like the growers, especially around Oxnard, have really had trouble this, this week. And it probably would be a problem next week too. Although we'll have a couple days where they can get in the fields. It's gonna be dry for like three days until the weekend. Uh, the biggest commodities that are being affected are strawberries which my prop department is working on and then, of course <laughs> do you recognize what that is oh nice that's kale right that is kale. those are the two biggest ones that are being affected right now strawberries will definitely be short from the area and kale uh, it'll be short from the area because they just haven't been able to get in the fields just because of all the mud and nationwide kale is is uh, down production wise so prices have been pretty elevated for a while well, and strawberries, that's a big problem too. Isn't uh, next week one of the bigger strawberry promotion holidays out there? Uh, yes, Valentine's Day is pretty big for strawberries. I suspect most of those orders are already in the pipeline. And actually, supplies are starting to come on pretty well from Florida and Mexico. So it's not as big a problem as it could be. Now, on the retail front, I know that you've had some reporting this week and some opinions on some of the meal kit companies cutting back on fresh items. Yeah, I noticed last week that when Chef reemerged um, with some new retail meal kits, they kind of like scooched this under the under the carpet here. But it's actually HPP, which is high pressure processing. Um, that means it's not technically fresh. It does give it a 55 day shelf life. And then this week, Blue Apron has a new kit called Knickknacks, which is a cheaper option that omits the protein and the fresh produce. At first, as a produce advocate, I say, oh, they're skipping the fresh produce. But in the end of it, I thought back about the last 10 years of meal kits that I've tried, um, starting with a Tyson Crock-Pot kit for, that had roast in it. Fresh produce and protein were always the weak links. The first Blue Apron I had actually had chicken that was leaking all over everything else, else in the box. And then you get these big boxes that are show up and it's got tomatoes and chicken and dairy all at the same temperature. So they were already making some sacrifices to include protein and produce in these kits. So is it a better idea to just go ahead and omit those and have them either, if you're ordering groceries online, offer them at a bundle discount or as a meal inspiration? Yeah, well, ultimately the, the goal is to sell more and sell more fresh produce. So if you know, delivery is just the vehicle, if it doesn't work because it doesn't deliver the quality product that people need, then I, it sounds like a good idea to go a different direction. The other news was that Kroger is rolling out its home chef kits in more stores. And that kind of goes back to the uh, trying to figure out the logistics of this. I, I tried home chef a couple of times back when Kroger first acquired them. And both of the boxes that I got were over 40 pounds a piece. So it makes sense to try new avenues such as buying them in retail and even uh, omitting fresh produce out of the out of the mix there. As long as your, you know, the recipes themselves include fresh produce, I think we're still winning. Yeah, it's hard to believe that you could find a profitable model to deliver 40 pounds of food for a couple meals. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work. All right. Thanks, Greg. Again, Pamela Riemenschneider for Blue Book Services. <laughs>